Well, hello, everybody. Wow, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, we, hello, everybody. There, there's a prime example wow, welcome, of the volume welcome, issue. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, my oh, goodness. Chris, you're so awesome. You, you, you actually echo throughout the world. I mean, it's just amazing. It's pretty Yes, cool. yes. Uh, well, it could be, yeah, it could be worse. It could definitely be worse. Hi, everyone. I am Chris Swataco with the Labor Day Singles Retreat. And we are so happy that you are here. If you're watching live or you're watching on a rerun, we still welcome you. We're so happy. Uh, we are here tonight to talk about Labor Day uh, Singles and Leaders Retreat and, uh, and answer your questions. Uh, but before we get into tonight, uh, Pastor Freddie, I'll introduce everybody as well, but Pastor Freddie is going to open us up in prayer. Well, first of all, just hello to everybody out there that might be watching, and uh, we we are so excited about you being a part of what's going to happen Labor Day weekend, and if you haven't registered yet, we want to make sure you do that, but if you've already registered, man, we're really looking forward to it. So let's pray, and we'll let our time here and uh, take care of some stuff. So Father God, first of all, we just thank you again for your grace, your mercy, your love, uh, everything that you give to us, Father. Everything we have is is uh, something that you have blessed us with, and we thank you for that. Father, I pray for all these leaders that are on tonight. Uh, Father, for all the things that they'll share to help people be a better educated about the Labor Day retreat and have a better understanding. Father, for those that are watching live and those who may be watching later, Father, we just pray that this would be a tool that you would use to, to encourage them. And for those that might be wavering, considering uh, whether to come or not, Father, I pray that this might be the the moment that they would see that this is something that you really would want them to be a part of. But bless our time together tonight, Father. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So let me introduce everybody. Or Freddie, would you introduce everybody for me? Well, I can probably do that. Let's see. There's Bobby Suit. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. That's Carrie up to my right. I don't know what that looks like on your screen, but Carrie, wave at everybody. Let them know you're up there. And then down below is uh, the infamous... Uh, Sherry, and uh, she's there. Wave at everybody, okay? And then, of course, we have Russell and Christy. All of you know them. They're famous. They're all over the world. Uh, they're, I think, number two on the Billboard charts and probably moving up next week. And, of course, the lady over to my left is, if you don't know who she is, then you haven't talked to anybody about Labor Day, about anything, but this is Missy. And then down at the bottom of my screen, I see Tammy down there, I believe, as well. Wave at them, Tammy, and let them know you're there. And, of course, uh, Chris Wataka bears no introduction, okay, just uh, a living legend in her own mind, and so we're just so glad to be here and be a part of it tonight. Yes, yes, well, that's funny, a living legend, it's like a, like, I guess you're a legend when you get to be a certain age. That's... Well, I said in your own mind, I mean, you know. I... <laughs> well, I just want to really quickly, we want to just talk about what is the reason why these leaders are online tonight or on Zoom tonight versus all of our leadership is because we're going to be focusing on the three big areas, which is going to be volunteerism, excursions. Uh, we're going to be talking about registration. We're going to be talking about roommates and some of those types of things. And also our fundraising, marketing, silent auction. Um, although we're going to briefly talk a little bit about other areas and you can ask a question, just put it in the chat and we will do our best to answer your questions. Um, but we're going to be focused on those areas and that is why who is on Zoom tonight. Um, so real quickly, we're just going to go over the general parts of the retreat. If you've never been to our singles retreat, um, you, it is amazing. It is by far, and I'm not just trying because it's, you know, something I work with, work on and with, uh, an incredible group of, of leaders, but because I go out and work with other retreats, it's to me is by far is the best retreat that's out there. Um, it's in its 44th year. It used to be a Lifeway retreat. And then about nine, 10 years ago, we took it over. We did miss one year for COVID. So we took it over. It was at, uh, at the Lifeway Conference Center in Black Mountain, North Carolina in the mountains. And we moved it to Bon Clarkin, which is on the other side of Asheville, North Carolina. Some of you are familiar with that still in the beautiful North Carolina mountains. And um, we've been going strong, growing every single year. Amazing the lives that, that have come, the lives that have changed, the stories that we've heard. And we continue to tweak it every year, adding, taking away, adjusting, um, because we want to make it the best retreat possible. So we're willing to learn and evaluate uh, and listen to you because this is a singles retreat. And the portion that makes it a leader's 
is that we have this thing called breakfast, lunch, and learns and, and Rusty, uh, Rusty, <laughs> that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Russell is going to share a little bit about that, but um, that we, you know, we really want you, if you have a team of people, a team of singles, you teach Sunday school, small groups, uh, you have a ministry under the, the church or you do a parent organization, we want you to bring your singles, but know also that we want to minister to you. So with that, we're just going to get started with an area of worship is how you're going to be when you get there on Friday after you go through registration, which we're going to talk about in a minute, you are going to come into the presence of the Lord with worship. And so I'm going to turn it over to Russell and Chrissy Johnson to share. Hi, we're Russell and Chris, or Christy and Russell Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Not not Russell and Christy or no, Crystal and Rusty, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot, by the yes, way. Yes, it does. Um, but anyway, we're really excited about Labor Day. We are worship leaders, and we get the, we get the wonderful opportunity to travel around the country, and sometimes even other parts of the world. But one of our favorite events, year after year after year, yes. is the Labor Day Singles Retreat. And you know, it's just couples from—I mean, couples. It's individual <laughs> singles from all across the country coming together uh, to get connected, to be encouraged, and we just love being there. So our part is that during the general sessions. Uh, we're going to lead worship and we're going to have songs that are all about who God is and what he's done for us and how we want to connect with him. And so uh, we just encourage you that when you come, be prepared to sing out loud. Don't worry about the people around you. Just lift up your heart and your voice to the Lord. And uh, we have a great time. We'll even do some you know silly songs as well. Uh, another thing that we do uh, while we're there is we like to try and connect and, and talk with folks. And so we'll have a table. You can come by and get to know us, uh, find out about the resources that we have in our ministry and how they can encourage you. Uh, and then another part, is uh, I believe it's Saturday night. Uh, there's several events that happen kind of overlapping throughout that evening. But the part that we do is a little backyard concert. And so it's off of the, the backside of one of the buildings there at Bon Clarkin. It's a beautiful little uh, hill and it's a, a beautiful little spot. And the past couple of years we've done this and it's just been really, I think it's been a hit. And I'm not just saying that because it's us. I'm just saying that because people really seem to enjoy it. We do silly songs. We do some worship songs. Uh, we tell some stories. Uh, it's just a great, a great time. But there's also other things that are happening at the same time. And Chris can tell you more about that. Um, and then the other part that we get to be a part of uh, throughout the weekend is the Lunch and Learns. And we love that because it's a great time for to get connected with folks and uh, we can, you know, sometimes we have a specific thing that we're going to talk about, but other times we kind of wait and see who comes to our table and we'll talk about what you want to talk about. If you've got mm -hmm. questions for us or you've got things that you want to help with, maybe it's uh, how to, you know, get a music group started with your singles ministry at your church, or maybe it's you've got a technical question about something that we do or how do we do this or how do we do that with our music. We're open to talk about all those kinds of things. And uh, so um, what else, Chris? Um, well, I think what's one thing that's neat, I think everybody could definitely, uh, you know, we've known each other for like 20 years. I don't know if Freddie has known you the same. Did you meet them the same time I met them, Freddie? I believe it was the same weekend, yeah. I, I think so. The same weekend uh, in Myrtle Beach at a singles retreat. But what I love about Russell and Christy is that they are there the whole weekend. And they mingle with us. They hang out with us. They spend time. They get to know people. Um, and a lot of worship teams, it, they, they come and they do their thing and they're gone. And so I think that's the thing we love the most about them is because, you know, the Lord is the same for all of us. You know, we're all God's kids and and uh, we all go through different things. And I love the fact that uh, Russell and Christy have been married, you said, 29 years, I believe. Almost. October yeah. 29. Yeah. 29 years. And so I think a few of you have been married or we have some of our leaders that have gotten married in the last uh, year. And so we think that they are also greatly can minister to people in that way as well. So thank you guys for hey. continuing to be a part of this. And uh, we appreciate you. Um, so he mentioned the dance, which is fun because Freddie, that's his favorite part. Right, Freddie? Well, I, I want to stop you just for a second before you go through the dance. I have okay. heard shattering news breaking right now news russell and christy you have two new songs to learn i've settled on the the theme songs for the weekend and so i'll be sending those to you the next day or two and okay. i know one of them you've never even heard of before so i know it's going to be new for you to learn and so i'm excited to see you guys have to actually learn something for us okay <laughs> that'd be awesome man really <laughs> So looking forward oh to that. My goodness. And yes, I like to boogie just a little bit, get my hand shaking. And oh my, my goodness. Yeah. Well, Go our ahead, dance Chris. is always very popular because a lot of singles 
live in places that there is no clean, safe dances out there that you can go and be a part of. And so to go to be able to come to Labor Day and have an incredible dance with a credible line dancing teacher, Lisa Young, and then you can then step out of the, the dance and go over next door and listen to Russell and Christy share and, and, and share their story and sing and, and people can sing with them. And then you can step another few feet down the way a little bit and go to the bonfire. And you can do all of those things on Saturday night. So uh, that kind of makes us unique and different than I would say other people. Um, we also have excursions. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. And that's from one extreme to the other of excursions. Um, and then we have our silent auction. We're gonna talk about that too. Uh, Sunday night testimonials. We have that as well for people to share what's God. And then we have a special thing on Sunday morning called our prayer experience. And uh, we're gonna do another live event where we're gonna have, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but it's different every year. So I can't say it's going to be just like last year's because it's different, but it's an experience that you have between you and God. It is usually the most favorite part of the weekend, even though Russell and Christy, Freddie teaching everybody else, you know, I don't, it's just amazing. And we think it's the most popular because by Sunday morning, by the time Freddie finishes preaching on Sunday morning, people are finally at a place that they need to hear from God and make changes. I'm just telling you guys, it's powerful, but you can't experience it if you're not there. Um, and then, of course, just in general, our Sunday morning, and Freddie, uh, if you would speak on that a little bit, that kind of what, I mean, you and I teach together Friday and Saturday, but what happens on Sunday morning? Well, we, we have a combination of things that happen actually on Sunday morning. First of all, each year for the last several years, we've adopted kind of a, a missionary that we support for the weekend. And this year we'll be supporting Crossfire Ministries, which is a sports ministry based out of Asheville, North Carolina, but they travel all over the world. They just got back from the Philippines. They had 10,000 decisions for Christ in about nine days while they were there. So it's an awesome thing to be part of that. So on Sunday morning, uh, Jamie Johnson, who is one half of Crossfire with Randy Shepard, will be sharing with us uh, a little bit about their ministry and, and that kind of thing. And then, of course, we'll have a teaching time. And of course, the theme for this year is uh, heroes of the Bible, basically superheroes of the Bibles, if you will. And I love this theme so much. I'm actually doing that theme at my church over the summer. I'm doing heroes of the Bible, and I broke it into two parts, unsung and flawed. And uh, I, the, the the thing that I would tell you about the teaching time for what Chris will do and what I'll be doing is that uh, so many of these characters, uh, I didn't know anything about myself until I started researching. Like next Sunday, I'm doing Abigail. Most of you don't even know that she's in the Bible, and you couldn't find her. I wouldn't know the references for her. And there's basically a whole chapter that's devoted to her, and it's the only time that she's mentioned in Scripture. And it's an incredible story, so much that I have a manuscript that I try to get to five pages every Sunday. I started at 26 pages. That's how much there was on her, even though she's somebody that's so obscure. So there's that kind of thing that'll be going on with the teaching. And then Sunday morning, uh, we'll have a special time at some point. Uh, Again, Christy and Russell, uh, there's some things that are coming that are going to be a little different because uh, as the Lord's been speaking to me, we're going to take it and split it a little bit in the Sunday morning, but uh, you'll have a bigger role in that. And then, of course, we have a time where we pray. And many of you come for the weekend. A lot of you, uh, we, we're probably guessing at the percentage, right, Chris, but, but a very high percentage of you never give up the desire to be married, okay, whether you've been married before or not. And uh, so God usually gives me something uh, special to do that morning that's related to that. And so, uh, you know, so that's part of what Sunday morning is about. And something too, just just because we're doing the, another live event about our prayer ministry is uh, we started doing this a few years ago, but when you get there on Friday, a lot of times you've driven a long way, you might've flown and, and you're a little stressed out and maybe it was your first time, you don't know what to expect. We have prayer tents and you have the option to be prayed for. And we find that when you come, when you when you allow the Lord to change kind of your mindset when you get there, because I know if you don't know anybody, it's kind of scary. But I tell you what, very quickly, you're going to make friends because we do every kind of thing we can think of, including table discussions and icebreakers and mixers. And we encourage you to sit with different people at different times. And then all the excursions that we have devotions on Saturday and Sunday morning and the breakfast, lunch and learns where you can sit at any table anywhere. Uh, we have a designated downstairs in the cafeteria and sit at a different topic and learn different things. So you you can't leave 
the Labor Day retreat and not know some people and make some new friends. And if you don't, then it's on you, right, guys? I don't know what else we can do, right? So you're definitely good. But I love how before they get there, because it changes things and it allows you to come into the presence of the Lord when Russell and Christy start to do worship. Because if worship is not just singing a bunch of songs and we just go through the motion, is literally coming for the presence of the Lord. And that's what we want to help you get there. And that's what they're going to do. Um, and then, but Friday night after uh, we teach and worship, we're going to have a mingle time with some delicious snacks. And then we're going to be doing a silent auction. And so I'm going to transition. We're going to transition over to that area. And I'm going to say goodbye to Russell and Christy. Thank you guys. And thank you. Uh, thank you. We'll and, see you uh, soon. Yep. See you soon. And, uh, and we're going to go ahead and transition and we're going to let Tammy share a little bit about the silent auction. And I can go ahead and do a screen share. Y'all pray for me um, to that page on the website. So give me just a second. Tammy, introduce yourself and talk a little bit about your area, if you would. I am Tammy. I have been at the um, Labor Day weekend retreat for a couple of years now. I'm helping with the silent auction area. And it's an opportunity for you to bring various types of items to donate that people can bid on and lots of different fun items that we've had in the past and items that, you know, great place to start Christmas shopping for items, but also, you know, things that you can bring different, you can see down at the bottom there, different basket ideas that we had from last year. So just think of different, you know, there's possibilities are endless that you can, you know, donate sports items, flower baskets, journal baskets, um, just kitchen items, lots of different things to be able to donate that people can bid on and take home. Lots of fun to be able to bid on the items and, and then lots of fun when you get the items to go through the basket and just to see all the fun things that people donate. And so just be thinking about different things that you can pick up and bring to donate that everybody can have fun looking at and bidding on. And if you have any questions, there is a email that you can send questions to or Kate's phone number is on there too to, I think you gotta go down a little further. Yeah, under that silent auction right there yep. Yep. and so okay. yeah you can just reach out with any questions you have um it, if you have anything that you already know you're going to be donating you can reach out to let us know what you're bringing that way we can have everything ready and we can have the best spot possible for you for your items so that everybody has you know we'll see them and yeah so understand the reason why we have a silent auction is to help offset ministry expenses. We are uh, we are an independent ministry. We are not under a particular church or uh, organization outside of my personal organization, Chris Winnaco Ministry. So we um, are limited in our finances. And so this is a way that we help offset our ministry expenses so that we can help get as many people there. So some of it goes to scholarships, comes some of it pays for operating expenses, uh, office supplies, things that we need, snacks and that kind of thing. So on Friday night, we do the silent auction just as a way, one, to have fun because you might get a basket that's worth $100, but you might get it for 30 bucks because people have donated it and then you get them to get to bid on it. So people get real excited and then all the proceeds go toward the ministry. So that happens on Friday night. Um, you can, if you're like, I don't really want to mess with the basket. I'll just give you money, Chris. People have done that this year. They've given me money. So Chris, would you just buy what you need? And, I, and it's good enough and that's fine too. And then some people say, well, can I order something off of Amazon or another organization and just ship it to you and you put it together? Yes, you can. We'll do that as well. But what are some other things that we raise or how do we uh, to raise an offset expenses, Tammy? What um, about this one right here? Oh, the wish list. There are, we have on, you can click on that little button where it says click here and it brings you right to the Amazon wish list. It has lots of different items that you can choose to pick from. It will tell you how many is needed. 
You can pick one of them, as many of them as you can. When you go through, it should ask you, you know, like it should give you an option. It's really quite simple. It should give you the option to, um, like you could just push the button that will say ship right to, and it will ship right to Chris. So you don't even, all you have to do is put it in your cart, you pay for it. You don't have to bring it with you. It will go right to Chris and she will make sure that it comes to the Labor Day event. And it's a great way to be able to support the, yeah. the weekend because then it's items that do not have that are already purchased by you guys. You can also buy a t-shirt, which the t-shirt is really rather cool. It's a cool design and it's a fun color. And it's a it's right there. You can see that where it's the fun color. You do have to order it by July 31st in order to get it. And then you'll be able to pick it up at the, you know, the weekend, but yeah, so it's lots of different ways to be able to support it. If you just want to even just send in money, just donate, you don't have to buy anything off the wish list or get a silent auction thing. You can just make a donation and there's information on that page that just says donate to the ministry and it gives you all of the information to donate and you are good to go. And, and then yep. we'll be able to use all those donations for all the various different aspects of the weekend. Yep. And we, um, uh, on the wish list, the majority of the things on there are our snacks, uh, creamers, things for our coffee, uh, cause we offer snacks on Friday night, Saturday night, and then whatever's left over on Sunday night. And so again, we used to say, bring a snack to share. And then people are like, Oh, I got to stop somewhere. I forgot to get my snack. Oh, great. I got to get in a line with a million other people on Friday night to go get a snack. Wow. I got to bake something. Oh my gosh. If you want to bake something, bake it and bring it. If you want to buy something at Walmart on Friday at 445, right before you come on, it's okay. But if you're like, no, nah, that's a pain. I'm just going to order it. I don't have to worry about it. That's why we have the wish list. And so last year I was living with boxes around my entire body. They were everywhere around me, but it's okay. Cause I knew that it was sent to you by the people who wanted to give to the ministry. And so we thank you. I think I, you know, I think I still have some chips left somewhere. Uh, anyway, it so it's uh, easy to pick up that stuff right off the wish list because you know what, it, that it's wanted and you know, we aren't gonna, you know, like then at least, you know, okay, they have it. And then, you know, 10 people aren't all coming with a bag of Doritos or a box of Diet Coke. And then, you know, Pastor Freddie gets all the Diet Coke to take home. Absolutely. There's <laughs> never going to be, there'll never be too much of that. Ever. Okay. Pastor Freddie, I'm sure we'll be more than happy if you wanted to pick up a thing of Diet Coke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have any questions related to the silent auction, the wish list, um, you can definitely go to the website, check out that information, or you can email us at our, our main email address, and uh, which I can grab that and post it. If, or maybe Roseanne or someone could post it on our chat. Um, if you have a question, you can send it to that address. We try to keep all of our emails going to the same one so then we don't lose or miss uh, miss one, miss somebody. But uh, there are some guidelines regarding our silent auction. We do ask that it comes in a basket of, or a container of some kind. If not, it may get split up and put in other baskets. Um, also, we have a deadline of a certain time. I believe it's it might be five o'clock that it has to be there. And we're asking for new or it looks like new. Um, we've had in the past, we've had some stuff that has come that's not been great. And so we have the discretion to use it or to put it on our freebie table. And that's another thing you can bring. We have a freebie table and people bring CDs and they bring things for their house and knickknacks and, and things that they just don't not using anymore. And we put it on our free table and then people just take it and it's awesome. And then we also have door prizes. So you may say, Chris, I don't really want to put together a basket, but I have 10 really cool Christian t-shirts that I'm not, that I have never, you know, they're brand new, or I have 10, you know, uh, bookmarks that I want to give. We'll use them as door prizes. So still bring them, but let, let Kate know and Tammy know of, that you're going to bring so we can kind of plan for that. All right, we're going to transition into the next area. Let's go into volunteers. And uh, Sherry, introduce yourself and talk a little bit about your area as I uh, change over to that screen. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Sherry Miles and I am over the volunteers. 
I uh, helped co-lead that. Uh, as everyone knows, if you've been before, the volunteers are the backbone of our retreat. So without you guys, we simply could not have a, a great retreat. So there's, as we've heard already, there's several areas that you could serve in. Uh, that's including greeting. Um, you could help in the parking lot. You could help with the prayer team. You could help with hospitality, merchandise tables, uh, the silent auction, um, registration. And we also have uh, help with cleanup and also setup. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of areas you can help. Um, you know, there's things that um, you can do to help us out. Also, the lunch and learns. So if there's a, an area you think that you would be willing to volunteer, that would be great. Uh, just keep in mind uh, that uh, you need to get out there and register. I know we're going to talk about that soon, but we will have a link that will come out. Um, not sure exactly when that will come out, but everyone that, that is registered will get a link to where you can go in and you can go in and volunteer in all the areas and you can pick out what you want to do. Um, so it's, it's a big uh, thing that we have that we do need volunteers and a heart to serve. And we look forward to uh, everyone possibly being able to uh, help us. And if you have any questions, you can let us know if there's a certain area or maybe there's something special you have that you want to do, ask us. We'll, we will be able to find you an area to work and help us. So just uh, reach out to one of us or me or Chris. Yep. Here's the thing with volunteers. We ask a minimum that you serve for one hour of one day. That's the minimum. So you can greet for us on a Friday night. You could exit greet, which is saying goodbye to people. You could help with the hospitality and put out the snacks or help in the silent auction or help with the merchandise or you could help decorate or maybe you're in a local and you live in the area of Hendersonville, Asheville, South Carolina, Greenville, and you want to come up and help unload the truck and set up ahead of time or you want to be on the cleanup crew and like I help at the end and I'll load the truck or, you know, maybe you want to help with the prayer team and the prayer experience. There's so many different areas. And you may say, well, can I greet on Friday night, Sherry, and then help with the coffee on Saturday morning? And then can I also then maybe help get firewood for the bonfire? And then on Sunday morning, can I help, you know, help with uh, Freddie with anything? And then on Sunday night, can I help clean up? Sure. sure. You can help as much as you want. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> and the key to this is that we do this one hour of one day because you're there, you spent your money, you've come a long way. We want you to enjoy the retreat. So isn't it cool that if out of last year, we had uh, around 300 that had registered. So just think of 300 people all served one hour. Uh, you probably only have to serve five minutes. I mean, just think about that. So that just tells you that a lot of people, um, they don't do nothing. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of people don't serve at all. You know who you are. Okay. And then a lot are over serving. A lot are like on, on Monday, they're like, but, and so we, we want to not have those people look like they're dying to balance it out a little bit. If you say, well, I'm afraid, I don't know what to do. Don't worry, Sherry is good. She will help you. She will partner you with someone that can help you how to greet. All you have to say, welcome, welcome. That's so easy. You can do it. I promise, you know, or we'll put you in the back. We'll hide you in the corner somewhere and let you like cut up carrots or something. But we will we will help you find a place to serve. Amen, Sherry. Amen, Chris. <laughs> oh, and you know, we've got some new team members this year. You can go to our website and look under our team. And Sherry is, is one of them. Her husband is joining us this year. She got married on us a year ago, almost a year ago. And, uh, and so Jimmy is uh, going to be working with our uh, facilities and setting up and breaking down. And so we're very thankful to have him this year. Okay, let's, let's transition into um, registration, roommates, excursion, rides, and all those things, which is a lot. And please put your questions in. Um, Roseanne says, I need someone to help clean up the tables after a session. Very easy. She's already plugging her area. We got um, that. We got it. So we're going to go ahead and transition into this area. Please let me know, Missy, uh, Missy and Carrie, you know, introduce yourselves and let me know where you want to start. Go ahead, Missy. Is You're she muted. There? She's muted. Um, Y'all have heard a lot of things that'll happen once you get there, but we need to get you there first. So um, you're like, well, what do I do? 
So the first thing you will need to do is you will go to the LaborDaySingles.org website yes. and you will go to the registration 2023 page. Okay. So I the first thing that will happen is we have these in steps in order for what you need to do to be fully registered for the retreat and be ready to go. And um, one of the first things I want to remind you is if you are coming with a group or you have a church group that's coming, they need to email us. Um, and the email and the phone number is at the bottom of every page of the website. But you need to email us first um, if you are bringing a church group so we can help give you some information that you are going to need prior to um, trying to secure rooms and lodging um, and meals. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go on to Bond Clarking Housing and Meal Online Registration. And it is a one-time registration process and you, it's password protected. And you get to go on and you will be able to choose um, the type of room that you want. And um, you will be able to see the rooms that are available in what buildings. And there's also a place that if you want a roommate on there, then you can put your roommate's name. Or if you're searching for a roommate, there'll be information there about what you need to do to secure a roommate. Um, so that would be the first thing you would do. And you don't have to pay everything up front. You were able to pay a down payment. And then you can go back as many times as you want to to pay it off prior to the retreat if you want to. Or if you've got a little bit, you need to hold off and wait till you can get there. You can take care of your balance once you arrive on campus. So you will register for that first and do your lodging. Then it's going to come up and there'll be some questions that they're going to ask you um, with some information that we'll need to get and um, emergency contact, that kind of stuff. And there's also an option that um, for you to be able to... Um, they're offering a, a optional dinner on the in, for the evenings that you can sign up for that. But you go, well, Missy, what do we do when we get there about eating? So included in your registration is two lunches and two breakfasts. And that will be Saturday morning and Sunday morning for breakfast and Saturday and Sunday for lunch. That's included in your registration fee. Also, the mo one of the most important things you need to do is you need to go register and pay for your conference fee for the retreat. And that is number two. And so that- Hold on a second, Missy. Um, and we've got this, did you mention the video right here? The video that they can watch that tells them how to do everything at Bond Clarkin? So um, on number two with the conference fee, you will go down. And so if you're going for the whole weekend, you will pay for the conference fee and it is $75 and that covers um, for the retreat. Um, it also takes care of your materials and um, other little things that um, you are provided. But you go, oh, Missy, I can't come for the whole weekend, but I live close enough and I just need to, I just can only come Saturday. So there is the option of doing a one uh, day rate only, and that's $25 per day. So if you can only come for one day, then you can go and register that way. And we will get the information um, to pay for that if you're not gonna stay on campus. Now, something that's really important is this. If you are, not going to stay on campus, but you go, oh, I'd really love to be able to get breakfast with everybody and lunch on Saturday and Sunday. Then you have the option of contacting Bon Clarkin and telling them that, you know, you would like to go be able to just register for the meals for that day. You can do that if you're only coming for one day. We also have on, um, Monday morning for the people that are don't leave early to have to travel back or their flight may leave later. 
there is an optional Monday morning breakfast that you can pay for and enjoy some little more fellowship um, while, before you get the leave to go home for the weekend. Now, here's something that's really important. A lot of people go, I'm coming, but I don't, I don't know who I need to room with and all this other kind of stuff. Well, on the Labor Day page, if you're a member of the Singles Labor Day Leaders on the Facebook page, there's a, um, a post up that says that, hey, I'm looking for a roommate. And you can connect with people there. There's also a post about transportation saying, hey, I'm flying in from this airport at this time. And I'm willing to carpool with somebody. So there's ways that you can take, and it's the pin to post at the pin to post at the top of the web, uh, the Facebook page, they're pinned and you can go and find the one, which obviously the carpool has the car on it. And there's information there for that. And then also for the roommates that where you can look for a roommate if you want one. Now I'm gonna tell you guys this, there's lots of options for housing on campus. There's no reason for you to stay off campus. <laughs> when you can stay on campus and stay and meet everybody and have time in the evenings. You can do anything from staying on a campground, either tent or RV camping. You can go to the adult bunkhouses or, <coughs> excuse me, you can go all the way up to the hotels that have mm -hmm. queen beds in them. The choice is yours, but there's plenty of places to stay and you've got um, the opportunity to do that. Missy, yeah, um, it's true that, can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I spoke a minute ago and I, I don't think she heard me. I thought I might've been muted. Um, problem with doing Zoom is it layers all these different screens in front of you and you get and you get kind of lost. But um, if, uh, I know that we're, one of our buildings, we're half full and another one we're almost full. Is that true? Yes, um, Founders Hall North is uh, three quarters full, I would say based on, what I was counting and how many rooms are left. Um, the lodge is probably halfway full. Uh, Founders South um, has several rooms left and Memorial Hall is, is, it definitely has a room. In the bunkhouse. In the bunkhouses, yeah. Bunkhouse. So I told you guys that by August, these, the hotels, they'll be gone. So you, you, you definitely want to register uh, the three, the Founders Lodge and Founders South will be the first ones that get full. Um, Founders South is the one that you drive up to. It's like a hotel, I mean, a motel. So if you like being able to drive right up to the door or close to the door, that's the hotel you want to go to. But the rooms are smaller. So because they're, you know, they're an older hotel, older motel. Founders, which is it Founders or the Lodge? It has the big rooms, Missy. Founders North has the largest rooms. Has the largest rooms. And so a lot more space to get around. And then Memorial is the older. Um, it's got two twin beds. And those twin beds in one room share a bathroom with another two twin beds. Correct? Or it'll be twin beds or it'll be bunk, uh, adult bunk beds. In, in the, uh, the Memorial. Memorial Hall. Mm -hmm. Memorial. Now here's the thing. Y'all, we know that some people, you know, have certain reasons medical or whatever that they cannot share their room but here's the thing if there's no more rooms left on campus where it's only a single queen bed those are gone so we want to have as many people come as we can and have the opportunity to come and enjoy their retreat and spend time with the lord and 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 to grow in fellowship with him and so we need people that are willing to share their rooms because if you're just one person and you're taking a room with two queen beds, then somebody else could come and you could end up make it a best friend for life that you end up meeting because that's what's happened to many of us that are on leadership. Yes, we have made absolutely. lifelong friends and that we stay in contact all year long or even meet. So we want you to come. We, there's space to come. Um, if you got questions about it, you go, I just don't know what to do or where to go or whatever. You can go to on the, the um, Facebook page at the, at the bottom of there. It says, I've got questions and you email singles labor day experience at Gmail, and we will get back to you and answer your questions. If you have um, <coughs> a concern um, or have a need that needs to be addressed, 
that can be taken care of. And Bon Clarkin is gracious to work with everybody on mm -hmm. things. So we appreciate it. We hope y'all come. So Carrie, do you want to briefly, while Missy gets some water, would you like to briefly talk a little bit about the excursions? Um, the excursions, uh, we um, are in the planning process right now. I'm <laughs> uh, trying to um, just look at uh, different things in the area that are local, uh, close by, um, that will get us out in nature and just have a good time. Um, the um, probably more popular uh, excursion that we have is uh, going to Lake Lure and having a boat tour. Uh, but that one is definitely limited in the number of people that can get on board. So, uh, so that was one uh, that we have to uh, kind of play uh, mini sometimes with people saying, well, you missed um but um uh, but that seems to be very popular so we're definitely going to do that again um we're looking at different maybe going to different places um to hike uh, possibly uh, going to some of the apple orchards around um uh, different do things but big, again? um we're discussing that yes absolutely and um but the biggest thing that that we have as a need for the excursions are people to lead them and so, um, you know, the, it is all you have to do is just make sure people, you know, are there in line. You're the, you know, if you're the leader or the co-leader, the leaders in the front of the line, the co-leaders in the back of the line, um, to make sure people just get where they need to be, um, and then um, get people to supper campus. That's it. And um, and so uh, it's not a not a really big deal um, as far as you know being in charge of anything. Um, but you know. If, if you know we're just praying that up and and lead uh the excursion so that we can have uh, any options for saturday and on sunday we also plan for um uh, rainy weather because sometimes it does rain up there and um so we're, we're looking at options uh for on campus that you can do first yeah, last year it rained and we ended up doing last <laughs> literally the last minute yeah, prompt to just <laughs> jumped into the lodge and we had karaoke and uh, we and had our worship. We had really good painting. Time. We're going to yeah. probably do a painting craft of some kind mm -hmm. because we know some people enjoy just hanging out and yes. not going anywhere. Um, and then we had uh, people playing cornhole inside. And so we, we just, you know, I'm just telling you guys, you have to come, you can't enjoy yeah. it if you're not there. Uh, Freddie, am I not thinking of something else you were? Yeah, there's one excursion. I mean, I'm from Hendersonville and this is something that I've got oh, the apple. I mean, the apple festival. Little boy. And so the apple festival. <laughs> yes. I forgot about that. Sorry. Uh, whole weekend excursion. So there's literally <laughs> about a hundred thousand people or more that come into that area on that weekend. And you know the weather; it's it's got food, and you can get fried apple pies, which is one of my favorite things to go do. There's all kinds of music. A lot of it's just free. I mean, the food's not free, but the music and all those kinds of things are free. So that's there all weekend long. Starts on Friday, ends on Sunday. So that's an option that anybody can choose to do anytime they want to. Yeah, we'll definitely have a list of things to do on your own. Uh, yeah, you know, get a couple of people with you and go do things around. You know, there's lots to do in in the area. We have some people that bring their singles and they have, they do one thing with all of us and then they do things something on their own. We're not good. We're not there to police you that we're not your mom. So we, you can do whatever you want to do, but we design these so that nobody's by themselves if they don't want to be by themselves. And so, um, so we, so they vary every year. We try to do the ones that we know are very popular, but here's the thing. The reason why we don't know to almost Labor Day is because we don't have leaders. Right. So if we don't have leaders, we don't offer it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're like, oh, I really want to be sure, but I don't know what to do. Carrie and Missy will help you. Yes. They will tell you what's important. You'll hold up a sign. You'll like people will carpool. You'll go. And if you started with 20, just count off. Make sure you bring 20 back. That's yeah, all the car you ask. start in is the car you come home. In. <laughs> the one you started when you come home with. Yes. And you know, it is uh, Labor Day weekend. So it's going to be crowded. Crowded. You go. Yeah. Uh, we've had people say, "Oh, it was warm outside. It's summer. Oh, there's crowded. It's the weekend. It's the holiday. So, so if you're not coming and expecting that you might run into traffic, you might run into crowds, and just stay at the facility, stay at Bon Clark, and just do nothing. If you need to sleep, just sleep and just rest in the Lord. There is a pool. There's a pond. There's walking trails. There's, there's hammock stands." 
ham, there's yeah, hammock center. There's, it's fun. And then we mentioned uh, the three bigger hotels, the older hotel, the bunkhouse, and then you can camp. You can camp in a tent. You can camp in a bigger tent. You can camp in an RV. I just don't think you can camp in your car. But I, 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 I Missy says correct. Um, and there's a bathhouse there as well. And then there's, you know, if you don't want to stay on campus, there are hotels in the city. There's Airbnbs in the city, so you can check that out as well. But there's nothing like being on campus mm -hmm. and being around everybody. It's an easy campus to walk. But if you're challenged walking, you can drive from the main building, which is called the YAB. It's our big gym. It's where we have all of our main sessions. And you can drive your car back up the hill and park. And we do pretty good with our parking. Um, we haven't had any concerns or complaints that people felt they couldn't get a parking spot or that kind of thing. So just understand, we also have a golf cart we uh, that we use in our kitchen folks and they uh, go around and sometimes we can pick up one or two people in that if, if need be. Um, but I think that's it. Is there any I'm asking people, you got any questions that you want to put? Oh, Mary Lewis is saying there's rocking chairs and Jeff is saying that there's uh, <coughs> hey, Moore's Coves and Ernest is saying there's, he did an excursion in Greenville last year. There's a pinball machine at pinball machine, pinball museum. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of great things. And by the way, if you're not from this area, we are <coughs> the capital, capital of the world. And there are more apple farms I, I can count. And so there's lots of, of fun things there. So anything else that we're not thinking of or any questions you guys want to put in the chat um, that we need to answer? This is the time to do it. Let me Just make a comment, thing. Chris, on the uh, if someone's going to I really want to strongly encourage everybody to be on campus with us because you know, it's just like church online. OK, it, it meets a need, but it is not the same as being with everyone. But if you're going to consider getting off campus, you got to order so you got to get a room right now because the Apple Festival will take every hotel within about 50 miles, okay, at least. And so, uh, so I just say that as a warning to you. But I really encourage you to be on campus, find one of the options that works for you, and be there with us and hang out. So, yeah, and you can, like I say, you can make payments. And uh, but if you're not, if you don't, well, you have to pay your registration fee, which is the $75. If you don't pay that, you're not fully registered. So we need you to be completely fully registered. If you're not fully registered, then you're not going to get the volunteer list. Uh, you're not going to know some information that we're sending out to people that have registered. You might miss something. So you need to do all of it. We appreciate you doing all of it. We appreciate you supporting the retreat and supporting this. If you've gone before, you know, post on our Facebook page your experience uh, only good ones. Okay. Post on our page, you know, what you enjoyed about it, what made a difference, uh, you know, uh, how it changed your life. Cause we hear it on our end. We hear from people that came feeling really discouraged, really not liking being single. And we know I've been single my whole life. I know, I understand, I get it. And they come feeling really discouraged sometimes and they leave changed. And that's our goal. We want you to feel safe. We want you to feel encouraged. We want you to make friends. We want you to have fun. We want you to hear from God. We want your life to change. Because when your life changes, it actually is like, you know, it just everybody else wants to be a part of it. They want to know what's about you that's that that's different, right? And so being around other believers can help you in your walk. And so we do want you to come. But what, Freddie, what's... what? If they don't go to what website? You have got to go to www.laborday.singles.org because if you don't register, I mean, God is going to do something great. Now, we, we've already told you, we don't know what he's going to do, but we've been doing it for nine or 10 years now. And there's not been a year yet that God hasn't shown up and that something incredible hasn't happened in individuals, groups, all kinds of different experiences. We see salvations almost every year. People come to know Christ. Uh, people get healed physically. People get healed emotionally. I mean, it's just an incredible thing, but you can't be a part of it and you can't experience it if you're not there. Yeah. Okay. So, well, with that, we're going to leave it at that. If you do have a question, definitely email us and let us know or um, we'll call you the, as quick as we can. Please know that we are all work full time. And so we will get back with you just as soon as we are able to, to try to help you answer any of your questions and uh, to help you with the process. And uh, we're just excited every year. It gets more and more exciting to be there and just uh, all that God has planned. And um, so with that, 
I guess we will close and um, and uh, Pastor Freddie, I guess you would you close this tonight? Absolutely, be glad to. Father, again, I thank you for each and every person that's on this uh, a Zoom call tonight. Father, I thank you for those that are watching and those who will watch later. And I just pray that this would ease some some of the anxieties for people that may be a little anxious about all this. For those that have been before, I pray that it would just excite them about being a part of it again. And for those that maybe still be kind of wavering and wondering if this is something they should be a part of, I just pray, Father, that you give them the peace that uh, that they would know this is just a good thing. And Father, we thank you for how you've worked in the previous years, and we look with expectant hearts to what you're going to do this year. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end this uh, broadcast. Uh, there we go. Stop live.